this video you learned about how to go ahead and delete the post and in the previous videos prior to that you also learn how to create a thread functionality in continuation of that those videos those tutorials uh, we're now going to learn about the paginations how to create pagination uh, in Laravel in fact creating the pagination in Laravel is, is pretty simple I mean all you have to do is just call two functions two methods and that's it that's all you have to do and the pagination will automatically be created by Laravel and you can define uh, the uh, number of items that you want to show uh, you know uh, on a single page with the pagination uh, inside of the pagination parameters so you'll see how simple that is okay so if you haven't watched the previous video uh, you might want to check that because I'm not going to explain to you how to you know show all the posts this will just be continuation of the previous video and in case if you have pretty much idea about uh, you know uh, Laravel then I think you should get along with it as to how to do it you don't really need to watch the previous videos great so um, just want to show it to you what, what do we have actually uh, on the plate uh, so basically this is my Laravel project and I have some posts uh, that are being displayed over here I have created these posts and I have done some styling uh, which weren't there in the previous video so uh, to save time I've done the styling in a, uh, a bit uh, to align them properly okay and uh, you can see all of these posts are being displayed and uh, we learned in the previous videos that uh, uh, this is all coming from uh, by the post controller that we created so if you go to app HTTP <coughs> controllers post controller okay and the method that is responsible for showing all of these posts uh, is basically I think the index index function index method uh, okay so over here uh, we have a post table so let me just go over there my new app my DB I think yeah that's the one right so we have a post table and then I have the ID title uh, content author category all of that stuff going on there so I'm going ahead and uh, you know displaying all the data from the post table uh, using the a method which is app post all and then I'm passing that uh, post variable which contains all the uh, all the posts in the database uh, and I'm passing that using compact method to show dash post uh, posts uh, view file okay so which is basically so we'll go to the view which is um, resource and then show post.blade.php so this is where the all the posts are being displayed we are running a loop and over the post uh, variable and uh, it's getting us all the posts that are there in the database so how do we uh, actually do the pagination so it's very simple guys all you have to do is over here you need to say paginate and that's it and then go ahead and uh, put how many posts that you want to show over there so let's say one for now and if I go over here refresh the page uh, I think there is some error okay let me check that so guys the reason uh, why it was not working because this paginate method won't work with all method so if you want to just show it you can just do post paginate okay you can also do app slash post so you can just po do post and make sure it is included over here okay so if you do this now uh, number two means that how many um, how many items do you want to display on a single page so if you go over here if you refresh the page uh, sure enough you can see there are only two items being displayed if I change that to one refresh the page sure enough it's only one being displayed over here okay but what happened to the rest of them what if I want to see the rest of the items what do we do that it's very simple guys like I said you only have to use two functions one me one method you'll use over here uh, to make sure that you get the filtered amount of data you know it, you tell Laravel how many uh, items do you want to display on a single page um, and then you have to go into your view file and just call the uh, method called link okay so all you have to do is basically 
make sure you use the same variable that is being passed over here so I'm using this variable I'll go over here and just before the end if ends so make sure you don't do it inside of the loop you do it outside of the loop so I'm doing this outside of the loop and I'm going to use the Laravel built-in uh, blade templating engine echo uh, method which is double curly braces and then I'm going to say posts and then links and then call this method that's all you have to do if I go over here refresh the page sure enough you can see you have nice little pagination you can always style them the way you want to go to second you have the second post go to third you have the third post you can use next to go to the next one and so on and so forth now you can play around with this you can decide how many um, con how many items you want to display if I say two over here you can see that uh, now I have um, okay there is something wrong I think somewhere what's going on so I had one then I had three okay the reason for this is because I went on a different page altogether which never existed okay so if I can say two over here go back refresh and notice what's happening over here it says page is equal to one if you select the second one it says page is equal to two right so <clears throat> you have different things available over here right and uh, now there are different ways to use it so some, sometimes for example if you're using this with a where condition then you do it like this so for example you put a condition here where and you'll say category is equal is uh, okay let's see what do we have in the database table so I have in category I have actresses okay I don't have many common things but that's okay I just want to show it to you how it works with where method okay so where I can say category is equal to footballer and then you'll say arrow and then paginate you don't have to use get when you're using paginate so if you're going to be displaying all of the uh, post all of the data then you will just say paginate but if you're going to use it with the where function where method then you just uh, attach this method next to it um, with an arrow sign okay so you can check this out and sure enough it will go ahead and ensure it will only display that item uh, the reason why this is not being displayed because notice over here we are trying to access page second which was available in the previous condition but now since we have made changes obviously this will not be available so I can just go on to this and I can, you can see that there's only one post if there were more then you will see pagination if uh, if obviously if we are passing for example if you're passing 10 over here okay and we only have nine posts so nine posts will display but you won't see any pagination pagination over here the pagination will only show the pagination links would only show when there are more than 10 posts in case if we have passed 10 over here okay so i hope you do understand how this works very simple guys just call this function paginate wherever you are uh, trying to get the data and then with this particular variable which you are passing in the compact in the view uh, file just call this method links and you will see the pagination in case if your items are more than what you are passing over here on a single page great so I think that helps and um, I'll see you in the next video probably we can talk about how to uh, trigger a mail how to trigger sending an email for example uh, you know when a post is created or when a post is deleted or edited and things like that so when on any particular event how do we send an email what are the custom formats and all of that stuff we're going to see all of that in the next video. Okay, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.